Hello everyone, how is it going? My name is Harris and welcome to Rustic Flow. So today I'm going to be reacting to Mitch Hedberg on turkey, tennis and turtlenecks. So without any delays, let's get to it. Here we go. You guys, you guys feel good? Yeah. yeah. I, I feel very good too right now, I tell you man. I've been walking around New York City, anyone see me? I've been walking around, checking it out. You know, people always trying to hand me out flyers, you know? When someone tries to hand me out a flyer, it's kind of like they're saying, here, you throw this away. Oh my God, it's so fucking right. It's absolutely right. I have right. my hair professionally styled backstage. Does it look good? Yeah, yeah it does. It's not usually this bouncy. <laughs> you know, sometimes people give me gift certificates, man. Oh. I think a gift certificate is a bad gift. What's a gift certificate? You take money that was good everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Don't need to explain yeah. anymore. <laughs> you took a little long on that clap now. I had some extra lines there, but I can't do them. <laughs> I think turkeys are sellouts, man. I hate turkeys. Like if you go to the grocery store and you stand in front of the lunch meat section for too long, you start to get pissed off at turkeys. You see like turkey ham, turkey pastrami, turkey bologna. Someone just needs to tell the turkeys, man, just be yourself. <laughs> I like that. I already like you, little brother. You do not need to emulate the other animals. I like that You got one. your own thing going. I used to draw you. <laughs> That was a good joke, man. I really did like that. That was good. You guys are so generous with the applause, man. I think Pringle's initial intention was to make tennis balls. <laughs> because they come in a deck to ball. Uh, what do you call it? The day the rubber was supposed to show up, a big truckload of potatoes arrived. <laughs> and Pringle's is a layback company. They said, cut them up. <laughs> Hold up, I'm going to explain. So you know a tennis ball, if you look at it, it has two parts and they look exactly like Pringles. Because uh, it's so, I've got a tennis ball somewhere around here, but I'm not going to look for it. But yeah, it's so fucking true. It's so brilliant. <laughs> I never thought about it that way. It's so obvious oh, as well. Man. I play tennis in LA. I live in Los Angeles. I play tennis with my friend Doug. The thing that's depressing about tennis is no matter how good I get, I'll never be as good as a wall. <laughs> uh, I think a lot of people associate long hair with drug use, you know? I wish long hair was associated with something other than drug use, like an extreme longing for cake. <laughs> Strangers will look at me and say under their breath, that guy eats cake. <laughs> Wish from thinking. <laughs> he is on butt cake. <laughs> Mother saying to the daughters, don't bring the cake eater over here anymore. <laughs> he smelled like flour. <laughs> Did you see how excited he got when he found out your birthday was fast approaching? <laughs> I go to Amsterdam because the bakery is legal. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> All right. I got a V-neck shirt on, man. I like V-necks, you know? I like the loose feeling around my neck. My neck is very fragile. I don't wear crew necks. And I hate turtlenecks, man. A turtleneck is like being strangled by a really weak guy. <laughs> Oh, that reminded me of a joke. Oh, that reminded me of a joke. From... <laughs> this, is, this is so unusual to hear so much applause. I think you're trying to trick me and make me think I'm done. <laughs> I, wish they, I wish they made cinnamon roll incense. Because I love cinnamon rolls but I don't always want to open my oven and put a pan in. I'd rather just light a stick <laughs> than have my roommates wake up with false hopes. <laughs> uh, 
picking the bucket. All right. Now, you know what? On the weekends, like when you go to a restaurant on the weekends, it gets very busy. So they start a waiting list. They start calling out names. They say, Dufresne, party of two. Dufresne, party of two. But then no one comes, so they say the name again. Dufresne, party of two. But then no one comes, so they just go on to the next name. Bush, party of three. Well, what happens to the Dufresnes? No one seems to care. Who can eat at a time like this? People are missing. <laughs> <laughs> you people are selfish. The Dufresnes are in someone's trunk with duct tape over their mouth. <laughs> and they're hungry. That's a double whammy. We need help. Bush search party of three. <laughs> that was a cheesy joke. I, like I had a that. roommate in Florida. His name was Eddie. Eddie was kind of slow on the mental draw. I was writing a letter. I had a problem. I said, Ed, how do you abbreviate Arkansas? He said, I don't know. Just start spelling it, then quit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm done. Thank you. That was nice. So, that was Mitch Hedberg, turkeys, tennis, and turtle legs. And that joke with the turtle leg, oh, it reminded, it reminded me of a joke. I don't know where I heard it. It's like... It's like getting choked by weak womanly hands. I don't know where I heard the joke. I can't remember whether it was Deadpool. It gotta be Deadpool. It has to be Deadpool because he's the only one that could come up with some stupid shit like that. But that was that's what reminded me of. And the turkey joke was very good. I didn't know where it was going, but at the end, it actually that was pretty decent. I really did like that. And uh, the very beginning, it's like whenever you walking down the road, somebody hand you a flyer. It's like, yeah, put in a bin for me. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, so, but by the way, that was Mitch Bet Hedberg, and I hope you liked it as much as I did because I really did enjoy it, and I'm looking forward to doing a lot more of this. And if you did, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, leave a comment, and if you have any suggestions, do let me know. And I'll let you guys see you next time.